Hey, welcome back to another ballistics gel test. It's time for more 450 Bushmaster. Today we are shooting Remington's 260 grain AccuTip load. And here's a look at the box of that Remington AccuTip ammo. And interestingly, they have a buffalo icon. So I guess if you're going to go buffalo hunting, Remington suggests this. We will see. Let's flip it around and take a look at the promo info on the back. It's got quite a bit of information here. You can pause and read all that if you would like to. Here is your trajectory and velocity info. And look at this. This is very interesting. This actually does list the barrel length, 24 inches. Now, I don't know who... I don't know who is shooting a 24 inch barreled 450 Bushmaster. Um, the majority that I've seen are 16 inch barrels, if not, you know, I mean, a few are 20 inch barrels, but by and large it's 16. So I don't know why Remington would use a 24 inch test barrel other than to just try to trump up these numbers here. That's ridiculous. And my test rifle today is my Ruger American Ranch, chambered in 450 Bushmaster, of course. It's got a 16-inch barrel. Up top, I've got a Vortex Crossfire 2 scope. And coming on back, I've got one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs. Check out my website, masonleather.com. I would love to make you one. I will link it in the description and in the pinned comment. And over here, I've got my wild boar design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting that Remington Premier AccuTip 260 grain load out of the 450 Bushmaster and i have captured all three bullets and they look really really good actually good mushrooming very consistent penetration let's take a look at that looks like we got we'll give that one 20 inches this one's right at about 20 and a half and this one is about 21 inches of penetration very very consistent coming over to the first block if you look real carefully it's kind of hard to tell in the camera but those green plastic tips broke up on impact which makes sense it's just a piece of plastic and and something that i'm a little bit surprised about let me come over here maybe we can see it better we don't have a very massive um, expanded wound cavity there's just not really a big old blow up in there and i think a lot of that has to do with the velocity these bullets are going they are not going particularly fast so you're not going to get that big giant massive trauma shock like you would with say a 30-06 or something where the bullet is approaching 3,000 feet per second. Well, 30-06 more like 27, 2800. But these are going more like 2,000 feet per second, a lot slower. And even if they do expand, you don't see that big giant massive shock trauma you do with a higher velocity bullet. But I would have expected a little bit more than that. Anyway, let's dig them out and take a look. And let's take a look at the velocities for that Remington Premier AccuTip 450 Bushmaster load are high was 2063 our low was 2035 so a pretty tight spread and our average was 2053 and here we are looking at the absolutely massive remington premier accu tip 260 grain bullets from the 450 bushmaster as recovered from the ballistics gel these things are the kings of expansion in 450 bushmaster we'll talk about that in a second but first we'll talk about weight retention. We had very consistent weight retention, 250, 252, and 252 grains for an average of 251 grains. And that works out to 97% weight retention. Considering that these expanded so much, I mean, I can't believe they had that high a weight retention, but they did. That is great performance. And then on to expansion. And this is where this particular load absolutely blows everything else out of the water incredible expansion we saw 0.87 inches one inch and 1.1 inches respectively for an average of 0.99 inches expanded diameter these things are insane that works out to 2.2x expansion and these things are starting big as it is it's from a 450 bushmaster 45 caliber bullet two of them got over an inch that is crazy 
And then under velocity, our high velocity was 2063, our low was 2035 for an average of 2053 versus the factory build velocity of 2180. So we did come in slow, 127 feet per second slow on average. And I can't imagine what these bullets would have looked like had we hit or exceeded that factory build velocity because they expanded just completely insane. If these things were going faster, who knows what would happen. And then on to penetration, very consistent penetration. We saw 20 inches, 20 and a half, and 21 inches respectively for an average of 21 inches of penetration. No doubt slightly hampered by the insane expansion that we saw. These things hit like a sledgehammer. They hit hard, they open up. It's going to be like taking a punch from Mike Tyson back in the day, but they don't go ultra deep. There are some other 450 Bushmaster loads that go quite a bit deeper. But this is going to go through any deer you need it to and lay the hammer down. All right, y'all, time for my final thoughts for that Remington Premier AccuTip 260 grain load out of the 450 Bushmaster. This was a really interesting load. I really enjoyed this one. Let's go ahead and hit everything. So weight retention wise, and this is really surprising. This, this load is very surprising across all of its metrics. 97% weight retention really, really high, which is crazy considering the insane expansion we got. 2.2x expansion. That is very, very high for 450 Bushmaster. Recall back when we looked at those bullets, they are absolutely huge. The average was 0.99 inches across. It's basically one inch. Crazy talk. Now, the one place that this particular load didn't do you know, super good is velocity. We came in 127 feet per second slower than the factory spec, but velocity is really the last thing that I'm worried about. And considering how much these things expanded, if, if these were going any faster, I'm not sure what would happen. And then on to penetration, this hit 21 inches on average. It was very consistent penetration, 20, 20 and a half and 21 inches. Very good. That's what I like to see for a medium game hunting load is right there at about 20 inches. And with that ridiculous expansion, I mean, this stuff is hitting freaking like a freight train opening it up and making a heck of a hole. And real quick, we'll touch on kinetic energy. With a 260 grain bullet averaging 2,053 feet per second, that's what we measured, we're looking at 2,434 foot-pounds of kinetic energy right there at the muzzle. And interestingly enough, that's on the lower end of what I'm seeing for a lot of your hunting 450 Bushmaster loads. They tend to be around the 2,600 foot-pound mark. This was a bit lower at 2,434, and that's completely due to the somewhat slow velocity that we saw. But even so, we're in the ballpark of a lot of your 270 Winchester energies here. It's plenty. So at the end of the day, what would I use this particular load for? Well, if my rifle particularly liked it and shot it very accurately, this might be the load that I would pick. Insane expansion, great weight retention. It penetrates plenty for deer hunting. This will definitely do the job. Compared to some other 450 Bushmaster loads, we didn't get quite the penetration that you see with some others, but that's due to that massive expansion, so there's always a trade-off. If you've used this particular load on game, let me and everybody else know how it did in the comments. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. The link is in the video description. And check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests. I have some big news. Lots of you have emailed me or commented how much value you get out of my videos. And you've asked me, how can you be a part of this and help support the channel? Well, I got to work and now I have a way. I've created a Patreon account where you can join me in helping our fellow hunters. Click the link in this video's description and watch my Patreon welcome video, where I describe to you how your help will impact this channel and our community of hunters as a whole. And when you join me on Patreon, you'll get a lot more than I can give you here on YouTube. You'll have to go watch that welcome video linked in the description to find out the details. I'll see you there.